Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Brand Gun. It is made in a really small 144 scale and it copies SBD3 down to S. This boxing is named as a Coral C, there will be another one which we will check a bit later but today we are going to talk about this particular edition. So this is a commercial sample it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video nothing will be changed and here on the box art you can see aircraft itself it is quite interesting I would say to have this SBD in 144 scale and plastic comes from Yacht so there will be also some bonuses from brand gun that's why it should be I would say even more engaging combo in a small scale. So box size is typical for small scale kits from this brand. Here you can see comparison with my hand. My hand completely covers it. It's not my hand is big, <laughs> the box is small. But nevertheless, uh, here we have really beautiful box art. And on the side you can see some safety devices and address of the manufacturer. And on the rear side you can notice four marking options which are included here. So one is painted in this green cover. It's some experimental camouflage scheme. Frankly speaking, I am seeing it for the first time. So if you know more about it, write it in the comment section below. And here on the other side, we have a model number and also barcode for this model. This is a side opening box. And as you can see, there is plenty of space inside. So nothing will arrive to you damaged and we will check it in, oh, let's say, perfect example of my kit. So everything is packed into this single plastic bag. Let's open it. It's a Ziploc bag and we will take a look at what is supplied here. So just give me a second. I will remove this here. So this clear sprue was first to fall out and we are going to start with it. So here we have canopy part and as you can guess in 144 scale we have a one piece part. So you won't be able to open the canopy but it would be strange to expect something different. I mean there are few 144 scale kits which offer such possibility but here you have really nice part. As you can see molding quality looks really good. So it's just a matter of careful masking because as far as you can guess there are no masks included and you have to do everything with your own hands and I hope you remember that SBD3 had really nice canopy which will require some work to do. And next we start with grey plastic sprue. So just to remind you once again this is Yacht plastic. So here we have first one which is dedicated to fuselage halves and also front cooling sections are molded here and that's really cool because these sections are molded as one piece parts so it's just a matter of installing them on the fuselage and you will be good to go. Both fuselage halves are molded together with tail section but here you can see that we have rudder pre-molded so I can guess it will be serving as a guiding element and here we have engine insert, cockpit floor, landing gear wheels, one piece propeller and external detailing is pretty much standard I would say it's a recess panel lines which should be more than enough for 144 scale here you can check them closer okay and if I flip it over here inside you can notice that we have rear landing gear pre-molded on one half and here we have tail section pre-molded both will serve as a guiding elements because there are no guiding pins whatsoever so only these parts will help you for uh, proper alignment. And next we go on with second gray plastic sprue. So here we have wing part, tail wings and some minor external and internal elements. And I think it is understandable that we get uh, one piece wing and it should I would say speed up the assembly process because you won't have to attach two halves together with lower one and of course wheel wells are also pre-molded here you can check them from the opposite side and whole wing mechanization is also pre-molded I'm not sure how to replicate this holes in the flaps which were present on the rear real aircraft so it would be interesting to hear your opinion or ideas about this part of the aircraft but other than that everything looks fine here we have small torpedo and also this special clamp for the torpedo and even the tiny parts they don't have any flesh around them so it should be really easy to work with this stuff. And next we have also small decals sheet 
So here I'm manufacturing supplies all necessary symbols for four marking options and printing quality seems to be fine, I don't have any complaints. Some of these symbols might be replicated with masks if you would like to, for example these black stripes because obviously it's just a matter of uh, applying the masking tape on the certain areas, then airbrushing with black cover and you have a bit more natural finish. I'm not sure if it is such a crucial, I would say, thing to do in a small scale, but some Pandoras usually do such stuff, so here they can work with it as well. And as far as you can see, we have also uh, small stencils, which will be almost invisible on the small scale model. And there are not that many of them, so don't be lazy, apply them all model will only benefit from such bonus. And next we have assembly manual. This one is printed in form of small brochure. So here you can see it, it's a black and white brochure. We have parts map on the first page. Then everything starts with cockpit obviously and it should be quite a simple cockpit because we didn't even have decals for instrument panel which is really surprising in my opinion. There are no decals for seat belts either. Here we go on with machine gunner place and Next, we continue with engine bay area. So here, as you remember, we have front cooling section molded as a one-piece part. Next, we install landing gear and also torpedo. And here goes the torpedo and bombs and canopy is on the last stage. So don't forget that masks are not included and you have to cut them with your own hands. As for this kit, it should be already available. You can get it on official brand gun website. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.